So we're not victims of scientism in this society. Alhamdulillah, you know, the more, the more science progresses, the closer it gets to the sunnah. The more science advances, the closer it gets to the sunnah. Right? That, that's just haq, and there's countless examples. My favorite example, uh, they're, they're just so abundant, but I'll, I'll just share one with you. Uh, that one time, I was, I, there was this journal, medical journal article that came out, on, uh, uh, and it found the result that uh, if, you, if, if a sugary substance is wiped inside the mouth of a newborn baby, it prevents brain damage, especially for premature babies. And if the sugar is given in any other way, that benefit doesn't happen. And so what, do, what have Muslims been doing for 1,500 years? What do they do? Tamar, they take a sweet date. And what do they do with it? They put it in the newborn baby's mouth. After the nurses leave the room, of course. <laughs> Don't do it when the nurses are there. They're going to call child, child, what is it called? They're going to call, yeah, child services. Wait till the nurses leave. Okay, the doctor then then do your thing, do the Muslim thing, right? Okay, so I mean that's science catching up to the Sunnah.